Hello! Here is another video from Simply Studies. These videos help you understand the basics. For great scores, press subscribe now and visit our website. Probability. When we come across some situations in our daily life and we have to analyze what's the chance of something happening, for example, we may ask what's the chance that the shop will be open when we reach there? Now, one's answer can be 100% means it will be open 100% or there's a 30% chance, 1 in 5 chance. This is what we call probability. Or for example, somebody might say that 9 out of 10 times the sun's rays blocks his vision while driving at this particular time. In other words, you can say that the probability that the sun's rays will block his vision while driving at that time is 0 0.9. That's 9 out of 10. So we can formulate a formula for probability. So probability equals number of desired outcomes divided by number of possible outcomes. One thing to be noted there here is that the outcomes are all equally likely to happen. Okay, this formula is valid when this is the case. For example, if we throw a dice on a plane surface, so what's the number of possible outcomes? That is six because there are six faces. Now, if we are interested in finding out the probability of getting an even number, so how many even numbers are there? Two, four, and six. There are three of them. So the probability is the numbers which we want, the outcomes we want, that is 3, divided by the total number of outcomes, that is 6. So the probability is 1 on 2, or 50%. A container has 13 blue balls, 14 red balls, and 11 green balls. If one ball is taken out at random, what's the probability of picking a red one? So again, we'll use the same formula. That is, probability equals number of desired outcomes, divided by number of possible outcomes. How many are the desired outcomes here? We want red balls. How many red balls are there? 14. So 14 comes on the top, on the numerator side of the fraction. And in the denominator, we put the number of possible outcomes, that is the total of all balls. 13 plus 14 plus 11, which gives us 38. We can simplify this as 7 by 19. 7 by 19 is the probability of picking a red one out of this set of balls from this container. Okay, let's do another one. But first of all, we should go through some probability, some interesting probability facts. First of all, probability is always positive. It can never be negative then the probability is always between 0 and 1. It never goes beyond these numbers. When the probability is 0, it means there is no chance of that even ever happening. And when the probability is 1, it means there is no chance of the even not happening. It means there is 100% chance that something will happen. If that is the case, we say the probability is 1. Probability of something happening is equal to 1 minus probability of that thing not happening. The odds of an event, that's another term used to discuss chance. The odds of an event is the ratio of its probability that it will happen to the probability that it will not happen. Probability of A or B is calculated by adding the individual probability of probabilities of A and B. This is the case for disjoint events when there is nothing common between the two. If there, there is something common, if there, the events are overlapping, it means if both A and B can be picked at the same time. So the probability of picking A or B equals probability of picking A plus probability of picking B minus probability of picking both. We'll do some examples and then it will be easier to understand. While 
probability of picking A and B, both of both of them, two things at the same time, then the probability, individual probabilities are multiplied. So in the case of N, it is multiplied. In the case of R, it is added. Now let's do some examples. A box has 15 red, 12 blue, and 11 green balls. What's the probability that two balls picked at random are both red? Now we have to pick two balls. The first red is the same which we did just a while ago. 15 over total balls are 15 plus 12 plus 11. That gives us 15 over 38. That's the probability of picking the first red ball. Now we have to pick the second red ball. How many red balls are left? 14. It means we can pick any of those 14 out of the remaining balls. That's again one less. So 14 over 37 is the probability of picking the second red ball. And the probability of picking the first red ball and the second red ball is calculated by multiplying the individual probabilities. So we just 15 on 38 times 14 on 37, which gives you 105 on 703. A program manager needs three students for a project. She picks these from a list of 10 students. What's the probability of randomly picking three boys out of a group of five boys and five girls? So when it's randomly picking, what's the probability that only boys will be picked? Let's use uh, whatever we have discussed before. So the picking uh, probability of picking the first boy is because there are five boys and there are a total of 10 students so the probability is one on two but when we are picking the second boy now there are four left out of nine students left similarly probability of picking the third boy must be three out of eight and probability of picking all of them together one by one is these three probabilities multiplied which will give you 1 on 12. So there is 1 on 12 chance of picking three boys out of this group. There is another way of doing that. The same problem. Uh, we'll use the formula for combinations. When we'll uh, in the in some other video you'll learn uh, this permutations and combinations. So in that case the possible outcomes is 10C3 or we can also write C10 3 means 3 to be picked out of 10 and the desired outcome is 3 to be picked out of 5 boys so probability will be this and the combination how many combinations is possible if 3 are picked out of 5 that is so the answer is 10 and how many combinations are possible if 3 are, are taken out of 10 so it is 120 so our probability in this case will again be 1 hour over 12 which is the same what we get what we got uh, by doing them separately okay that's for today thank you